What's up guys, we're gonna do a do-it-yourself installation of the gate assist. I guess, is that what we'll call it, the gate assist? We're gonna use these 150 pound, or how many? 160 pound, 160 pound uh, spring that we're gonna put on this mow and go ramp system. So we got this, I think they these are used for garage doors. So we're gonna put it on this bad boy over here and uh, hopefully it works. I got my boy right here, Victor, with Mo the Ranger. Mo Ranger. The Mo Ranger. All right, so uh, Mark and I are uh, gonna use, basically like he said, this is the spring that we're gonna install. This plate is gonna go on the mash. All these nuts and bolts go on the um, flat bar. Eye hook bolts are gonna go on the sp spring assist and the mesh as well and we, we, we gotta cut the the flat bar down because it's a little too long but it only comes i think it's, this is the smallest which is four feet and then we're going to drill some holes for all the bolts and it should help a lot i'm really liking the mow and go system i just uh i know that after about a 10 or 12 yard day it's going to be valuable and comes in handy because uh it'll be that much lighter first of all we're going to cut this slat bar so we're going to tack some uh bolts here then the spring is going to be also uh tacked on with some bolts here so let's go ahead and uh, let's cut that down go ahead and uh, measure out one foot and that's going to be enough got our pieces so let's go ahead uh so what we're gonna do next is attach these to this part of the frame let's get to it All right guys, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use these eye bolts and uh, we already have some pre-drilled uh, holes here. And the way this works is, so the eye bolt's gonna go through here and you gotta make sure it's big enough or large enough to where it doesn't go through the spring. So we're gonna attach the wrap side first and uh, it's gonna be, pretty self-explanatory and make sure you got the right uh, size of washer and nut to go with it. We got the ramp side bolted on. Now we're gonna go ahead and lift the ramp up and secure it to the I bolts on top. All right guys, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, secure the other end of the spring to the little brace that we made here using the I bolts. The same I bolt that went on the, uh, the ramp itself yes. will now go on the uh, side wall of the ramp. Just like you see Mark doing here. bolt and the spring are going in on the other side of the driver's side of the uh, dovetail part but close to the tailgate. And Mark's putting the eyelet and the bolts in and then he'll tighten it up. Easy person to give your number to somebody and then you can start getting all kinds of phone calls. Okay. okay. All right guys so we already installed the spring assist or gate assist this is just a do-it-yourself. Obviously, there's uh, better ways to uh, install the gate, the gate assist. I think they have like the gator, um, gator gate, I believe that's what it's called, not too sure. But this is just something if you wanna kinda save some money and uh, do it yourself. So, for the moment of time, or how do you say it? For, like not for the moment, what's that word? <laughs> And now, for the moment, everybody's waiting for. All right, the truth. 
the moment of truth <laughs> there it is that's the word i was trying to look for <laughs> all right dude i'm gonna i'm gonna let you uh see if you could get it down all by yourself before it wasn't whoa before it wasn't too bad but now we'll see how it is with this assist Needs to be stretched out, I think, a little now. That's putting it down. Pretty darn light. Oh, well, here, let's, let's, oh. Do like, let's do like everybody else does. So, one handed. Well, it, see, it's not going to help from there, then on. It's so long that it only helped, only assist you for like that much, and then for the rest of the way, it's all power. Well, no, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad? No. Let me see. I think, I think once you. Once you it's gonna help you getting it down. Oh, look at that! I mean, I don't. Okay. See, before I, I had to, it would fall down. Okay. Now I can just put it down like this. Uh -huh, this much. All the girls don't be like this. And then after a period of time, I think it'll stay. I would think. And then when you put it up, I mean, I could. There you go, just walking. We're done. We tried out the gate assist with the do-it-yourself springs. It's, it's better than not having any springs or assistant at all. It just seems like um, the springs may be way too long because you gotta, going down isn't so bad because the gate doesn't slam on the floor like it did before but going up it just assists you about i don't know three quarters of the way so the other uh quarter of the way it's still uh you got to use some elbow grease but other than that what do you think victor oh yeah it's a, a lot uh a lot more assistance okay it's just yeah like you, you mark just said uh three quarters of the way it helps you all the way up then that last you just a little bit of push but it's a lot better than having to push the entire gate up all the way from the bottom up or all the way from the top down when you're opening okay it. awesome awesome well he'll give us uh, an update on how it how it's actually working out when he takes it out in the field and he's doing that several times through the day so like i said follow mo ranger over at on instagram he'll have pictures and of course he'll do some videos and some updates ask him questions if you guys are interested in a gate lift like this uh, i'll leave all the uh, information in the comments and also if you're interested in a trimmer rack like this i'll leave that also in the comments so that being said guys thank you for watching if you think this video was helpful to you please like and also share this video with somebody that's maybe looking for an easy efficient uh, lawn care rig setup as is so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time